Good evening, everyone. Phil here. Welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Monday, the 22nd of April, 2024. So, today, we went from a React day to an all-online play day. Let's talk a little bit about that. First of all, on the podcast this morning, uh, there were various news stories that were covered. Uh, talked a little bit about the redoing of the schedule because now we're going to be trying out uh, Fightgate on my mini PC starting tomorrow night and see if it works, get it set up. Um, and other various topics, Q&A and the like. A decent podcast today, good chill time. And uh, then we got started with Helldivers 2, which was fun today. We started off around level 18, and when we had, well, I take that back, we started off level 17. We were getting very close to level 18, That level 18 was when I wanted to get this new uh, Quasar Cannon. I think it's not the Quantum Cannon, it's the Quasar Cannon, which essentially is a super-powered laser beam that does insane damage in a concentrated area, but it has a charge up time and then it has a, a cooldown time. So essentially you can't just keep spamming it, but it's very powerful. Uh, so powerful you can even knock out the drop ships that drop the robots down on the automaton worlds. So I was excited to get it and try it out. First hour or so of the game uh, was a little hit or miss. Uh, jumped into some terminated uh, stages and uh, was having fun, but basically kind of a little bit grindy because I didn't have anything really new. I was still using the orbital laser, still using the uh, 5,500 kilogram airstrike, etc. Um, <clears throat> but then after a couple of matches, boom, hit 18, got that Quasar Cannon. And man, that thing is awesome because number one, yes, it's incredibly damaging and very useful in these stages. But number two, it doesn't need the backpack like my other stratagems had used. So now I can have my drone using its... Uh, lasers plus i can use the quasar cannon so it's like two in one i was like wow this is excellent i could basically use both at the same time it made the game way easier and started really becoming like a meta build i felt um so i ended up playing for like another hour and 45 minutes um and it ended up all being one video after that because so basically it was an hour and then an hour 45 one match went really long and i don't know why but it just went like abnormally long and i was like well what's the point of me ending the video here and only recording for like 20 30 minutes so i just kept it going um so hell divers 2 you know progress continues continuously unlocking new stuff and doing well so good stuff there um the late stream tonight was street fighter 6 with zangief now i told you guys i wasn't doing ranked yet i needed to practice with uh zangief and and get good with him before i would take him back to rank but the goal end goal here is to eventually get him to master rank Man, he's rough, and, you know, I'm, I'm learning. I'm definitely improving my game. A lot of the things I'm doing, like drive rush up, and then you have all these options that I'm using now. I used to just basically drive rush up and do, like, kick, but now I can do medium punch. I can drive rush up further and then 360 right out of drive rush, which is essentially what the best Zangies do. Um, you know, I have some tick stuff. I'm trying to learn the best things to do when you jump. Basic combos, but still, problem with Zangief is twofold. Number one. You need to be perfect. Much like with the Dalsim, you need to be perfect with this character. If you make a mistake with Zengi, it is hard to then get a character off of you who's a rushdown character. Okay, and tonight, no exaggeration, I fought almost all top tiers. It was mostly Kamis, uh, Kens, Jeremy's, DJs, mostly. Almost no variety tonight. It was like only five characters I faced all night long. The same five characters. You know, I never seem to face mid to low two characters anymore. Like, no one seems to use them online. Um, so because of that, it's always the top tiers who are kind of really abusable, and it's the same stuff over and over. Um, anyway, so with with Zangief, basically, if I get a match where I can get momentum going, and I can keep the person away from me, and I can fool them into a few setups and tricks and combos, I'll win. But the moment I make, like, a single mistake, it's over. Because people can just play these patterns online with the top tiers that are so abusable. And with a character like Zangief, he has no reversal. He literally doesn't have a reversal move. So, you're reliant on a perfect parry. You're reliant on an opening where they make a mistake, so you do a low short to interrupt. You're reliant on, you know, maybe a, a drive reversal, but it sucks. It's just slow, so I don't even really use it. Uh, it's rough. And then, on top of that, his anti-air that's supposed to be good, his clothesline, doesn't always work. His lariat sometimes it gets stuffed by certain positioning and certain characters can just like kick through it uh it's very frustrating how bad zangief is in this game it sucks because at first it seemed like he was going to be really good because his 
Uh, spinning pile driver does so much damage, but I mean the reason it does is because his the character is bad. Um, I gotta give so many props to a guy like Snake Eyes. You know, I watched his videos last night for like a half an hour, and I tried to implement some of that in my game today, and I feel like I did, but. He basically must be playing the game to the point where there's minutia that he learns about each setup and each spacing and everything because it's just so easy. The Kami, I think, is basically just easy mode wins against Zangief. He can't answer any of it. You know, it's just constant in his face. He's like, I can't get her off of me. You get to the corner, you have no hope because you can't even stop her from doing any offense at all. You're not fast enough. So it's rough. Like, I know I lost way more than I won tonight. I did win some good sets. But it's frustrating when you really don't feel like you're learning. I learned some execution of what I wanted to do, but I'm not learning the matchups like I want. Like, I want to learn the Kami matchup. I don't think I learned a damn thing about the Kami matchup tonight. It All I learned is that she can literally press any button, interrupt anything he does, and keep the pressure going because the drive rush is so ridiculous. If anything, here's the solution, in my opinion, when they do a Season 2. They need to make it so that drive rushing with these characters who are rushdown characters takes more meter. Because when you can drive rush four or five times, and every time you're doing your hit string, you're building up more meter, then you can drive rush again, then you can drive rush again. There's, it's just nonstop. It's ridiculous. I really think like it's too much for these certain characters that she has these strings, and they're just endless. I can't interrupt it. I don't know what to do. It's too. My character's not good enough. You know. So I did good, meaning I learned, but I definitely didn't win a lot tonight. Like I know I lost a ton, but this is the first stream with Zangief trying to play him seriously. I'm going to get to stick with it and try to get better, okay? Um, so now just a lot of trolling today, and there's nothing you can really do about it. You have a day where a bunch of idiots want to come by and try to derail stuff. It's like, you know, do they really derail? Not really. All they do is annoy people in chat. Like, it doesn't affect the stream. You could, you don't see their trolling on the streams whatsoever. It doesn't affect that. Uh, these on-demand videos or whatever you watch, you would never see it. You would only know if you were there live on the stream and see morons in chat. It's like, well, how stupid, you know? If, if you haven't realized... All right, the whole thing with the gifted memberships that are phony because they're basically paying like pennies to get hundreds of them. Um, it hasn't ended me. I'm still here. Hi, I'm still, I'm still fine. I'm still making money. I'm still profitable. It sucks because I did have a decline since late, late last year. Things were going really good, and then I've seen a big decline since then because basically the memberships, you know, we can't keep the consistent support that I used to get with those. But outside of that, everything else is going good. So. Everything's fine. You would think by now they would have realized that, you know, give up because all you're doing is annoying people for a few moments in chat and then it's done. But I guess not. I guess they're just that dense and stupid. They don't understand. So I apologize to anyone who was here live for the stream, you know, for that. Obviously, there's going to be days where it's heavier and days that it's lighter. Much like a, a rash that flares up and then you, you cure it with an ointment, but then it just it's going to come back. I know because I have eczema on my hands, so I know all about that. Uh, that's really what this is like. It's like, it's not anything that ruins anything. It doesn't ruin your life. It doesn't ruin your stream. It's just a stupid nuisance, right? So apologies for that, anyone who was here. Uh, but overall, good multiplayer day. Good way to break up the content. Now, tomorrow, different day, all right? Podcast in the morning, and then Elden Ring, where we're going to take out Placidisax and continue on in Farm Missoula. I don't know how much more we have or how much dif how difficult it will be. We will continue on and see how that goes. And, uh... And hopefully we beat that, and then we can move on to endgame content, whether that means we go to the Imperial City, we finish those bosses, and we move on, or whether we instead we decide to go northern into the Frozen Waste and do some of that stuff. Whatever, wherever the game takes us, it really depends on how long it takes to finish Farm Azula, I think. So, <clears throat> we've got that on the first stream. On the late stream, something different. I'm going to do a live setup stream where I try to get Fight Gate. Yes, that uh, emulation program slash sweet app, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know what it's called. Um, I want to get it set up on my mini PC so I can play retro fighting games. Apparently, this is the only real way that people seriously play retro fighting games because all the console versions are atrocious. Um, and everyone over the past 10 years has said, just get Fight Kate. I was like, I can't. I can't run that on my PC. It won't work uh, You know, while I'm streaming and capturing. Well, I have a mini PC now. We're going to attempt to get this working tomorrow night. It's going to be rough because i got to get stuff spaced out with a mouse and keyboard and all kinds of shit here. Plus, Getting it set up and working, not only to the point where you can just play, but to try to avoid trolling and stuff. You know what I mean? So, we're going to have to sit around. I get the feeling it's going to be rough. There's going to be nonsensical stuff going on. You just got to kind of deal with it until we get it working. And so, whether we, we get to play tomorrow night or not, I don't know. I would love to play some old school fighters like Third Strike or Marvel vs. Capcom or, you know, anything. An alpha game, something. Super Turbo. But I don't know if we're going to get it working 
that fast all in one session or not. It's going to kind of be like a, a learning experience, okay? So that's tomorrow night's late stream. Something different. If you want to see me try to set this up and play some retro fighters, please come by tomorrow night. And, uh, and thank you for a great week so far. Okay, guys? All right. Thank you so very much. Have a good night. Be safe. And I'll see you all in the morning for another fun full day of streams here on DSP Gaming. Peace out.